Hey guys, it's David, and today we're going to be doing an unboxing of the GTX 1070 Ti. This is the super clocked one. Um, this one I don't believe has a back plate, but you can buy them on EVGA's website for like 40 or 50 bucks. So, let's just open it up. We took the shrink wrap off of it. There's just this one EVGA sticker on the side. Got the SC um, badges right here. Um, it doesn't say it on the actual front of the case, except on the box like right here. Um, yeah. So I got this at Best Buy for $470 because they mice they mice patch. Price match to uh anyway. So let's check this out. What do we get here? Oh, that's the box wow. So I think this is the poster. The one you already have. Oh shit. Oh no, it's different. Or I could rip it. Harness wow. the power. This looks like they make it look like a movie poster, look at the bottom of yeah. all the I mean, this one is. Oh, yeah, that's cool. actually kind of cool. It's not as cool as the old one for the, for the 900, uh, 900s. But. You don't buy the graphics card for the poster. Maybe. Oh, maybe you do. <laughs> it's a pretty heavy poster. So then we also got. Oh, we got everything together here. So the graphics card user guide. Is that drivers? Yeah, it's an installation <laughs> disc. And then they also have your, your new badge. Oh, I'll take that out so we can Whoa. look at it. Wow, they put ads in their shit now. <laughs> At least it's for their own stuff. Yeah, it's still kind of... You spend, you know, 500 bucks almost on a graphics card. Here's an ad. Same instruction manual that comes... To the 10 and the 9 Yeah, so this is the same one that came on my 900. My 970. Did the 970 have the 10 slash nod? No, that'd be funny. Yeah. Um, no, but... And then you also got this. So if you want to put one of these on your whip. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Power adapter. Yeah, it's the... Two, uh, six the, pin to an eight pin. Yeah. And then the actual graphics card itself. So I think this is just like a clamp. Oh man. And down here, it's 1070 Ti. You got uh, the EVGA. And once it focuses, yeah, there you go. And then up here, you got the EVGA and then your ACX 3.0 uh, information. Nice. Yeah. So on the back Damn, here. Damn, it still looks nice though. Yeah, on the back, you can see there's no. Uh, backplate or anything, but like I was saying, if you wanted one, you can get it on EVGA for pretty cheap, and then just screw it onto yourself. Screw it onto yourself? Yes. <laughs> there you go. Covers and everything on the back here, on the top here. EVGA, 1070Ti, you got your 8-pin, your, your, uh, your Snapchat. Oh. Uh, and then... <coughs> is that why it's yellow? Yes. DVI and your display ports and HDMI's and whatnot are all on the side. I mean, other than that, it's really not much to look at. Um, we will see you back when we put it into the PC. Oh. Okay, so we got the computer down here. And a cat. And uh, here's my old graphics card, the 970 uh, FTW Plus. I've, I made an unboxing of this on my channel before. Here's the FTW. And then the, just for size comparison, Here's the 1070 Ti. Why not put everything over? So the the 10 the you know the 10 series or whatever is slightly bigger, only probably what like a quarter of an inch longer or wider. Um, this the fans are spaced out more, and obviously the the new uh, graphics cards have like all these like divots and, and free grills and whatnot. So yeah, there's just a quick little comparison. I'm going to put this into the computer now. All right, so we got it installed in the case here. <laughs> Mind this cable, it's not quite long enough to hit the motherboard up there. Um, but this is what it looks like when it's all installed. Looks pretty sleek, and again, mind this cable. Uh, I don't have a modular power supply, so these kind, this kind of cable is all I've got, so mind that. But um, this is what it looks like. I'm pretty sure that on the, the normal super clocked ones, your logo up here does not light up. Um, that's not really that big of a deal. I'll go plug in my computer and turn it all on and show you what it looks like. Not that it really will look any different, but... Alright, so we're back. Uh, we got the computer all booted up. Uh, well, not booted up, it's turning on right now. But as you can see, the EVGA does light up. Uh, now, whether or not it's RGB is still yet to be figured out for me. Um, but yeah, it looks pretty slick in there with everything else. <laughs> Alright, so we got the graphics card installed. And it's currently doing the uh, automatic overclocking, whatever it's called, um, diagnostic. Um, and something I just wanted to point out real fast is that you cannot change the LED because it's not the FTW, so it's not RGB. 
Um, it just lights up white. Um, but if you have uh, the pre a Precision X, you can control your uh, overclocking, whatever. And when you first plug it into your, your computer and boot up, uh, Windows 10, if you have it, will automatically install the drivers and you can choose to run this overclock scanner, which sets your, your um, clock rate and speed and voltage and all that stuff. And while you're doing it, it shows you all this information about your graphics card, which is pretty neat. Um, so that's pretty much all I've got for you guys right now. I might do some benchmark videos of different games and whatnot. But that's all I've got. So thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.